Good news for everybody this morning. Just because Chris is on the road doesn't mean we are not going to take our weekly trip under the radar. Chris Raggy, of course, in Detroit this morning. I'm Erica Hill in New York, also seen as AC360. And we begin this morning in Sherwood, North Dakota, where there is a little four-legged competition for the Final Four. Instead of potentially uh, high-priced, hopefully one day for them, college superstars, in Sherwood, it is a donkey's game. Oh, yes. And a few other differences besides just the animals. Of course, uh, famous players run up and down the court a little bit. Uh, in this game, we're sort of coaxing these stubborn colleagues over to the basket. And probably where you are, Chris, you don't need a full-time pooper scooper <laughs> on the court. I would hope not. No. The game, though, <laughs> yeah. did raise $6,000 for a local school. <laughs> Yeah, something about uh, the final four here. They don't allow donkeys onto the floor. Heck, they barely Such want me on the floor, let alone having any donkeys. Well, out that there. one's understandable. And in New York, <laughs> in New York this past week, this is great. How about the unemployment Olympics? A group of unemployed workers managed well to turn their jobless status into an Olympic event. This is good stuff here. They held the first ever unemployment Olympics. Like I mentioned, the games were held in the city's Tompkins Square Park. Around 30 downsized or laid off or fired former workers participated in challenges like pin the blame on the boss, which is always <laughs> fun. Uh, the you're fired race. And they also tested their coordination on an executive pinata. That was my personal favorite. Now, there may not I have like been that. any gold medals, but some said it was great networking, a great networking opportunity, and for others, just a chance to get out of the house and beat something up. Burn off a little steam, <laughs> get, a, get a little exercise, yeah. too. Uh, <laughs> Got it. Hey, I don't know if you've seen this, but we, you know, we talk about yeah. this recession. Some people yeah. may not have heard about it. Sotheby's Auction House in Hong Kong showing off this little number. Check that out. It's a blue diamond. Little more than seven carats considered just about flawless. Very rare. Found in South Africa. Experts predict Jersey's. this one going to fetch up to eight and a half million dollars when it goes up for auction on May 12th. First, though, it travels to Paris, London, and New York. So not available for Mother's Day. But the good yeah. news is, Chris, my birthday's in July, in so you have plenty of time. <laughs> Well, that is a, a lovely little bauble. When did you say it was? July? <laughs> July, yeah, in case you want to mark it down. It goes, it goes on the auction block May 12th. Well, that gives me a little bit of time. But you know what? Since I can't get you that ring just yet, because I have to save up a little. It is a recession, of course. I've got a couple of other things for oh, you. Oh, hey. How about some jerseys? Oh, yeah. You've got your options. You've got uh, a little Yukon jersey. You know, I love my home state. We can get you North state. Carolina. We can get you Villanova, if you like. Very nice. And the home team, Michigan, Michigan state. state. So you take your pick, and I will bring you back the jersey for now. Ring comes later. All right, sounds good. Okay, so we're going to be talking a little bit about these energy drinks, which have you know all of these claims. Right. They'll boost your energy. They might help you burn calories. We're not sure we buy it all. Yeah. And, and these then are there are these. Help you relax. These will help you relax. <laughs> low, low calorie alcoholic beverages. Because let's be honest, when you go out there oh, we're, we're actually to have gonna, a cocktail, well, a we have to taste them. So these well, are made so these with. These are made from it's, shoshu. Shochu. It's um it's a Japanese liquor. It's distilled from rice, uh, weed, rice. barley, or sometimes sweet potatoes. Pretty oh. impressive. And super low calorie compared to regular Co drinks. That's right. right. So, so a shot of this is what it's about Ooh. 26 calories. Vodka, oh, 97. That is a... <laughs> All right, Raggy. <laughs> no, seriously. What did you think of that drink? Honestly. I just, you know, it's really it's... early in the morning. Oh, and my Lord. All right. Honestly, <laughs> this is not a sponsored program by, so, by Shochu, but that was a rough drink in my wow. stand. Wow. That's 100 oh. calories for this little one with, with raspberry, one. simple syrup, and lemon juice. I think I'll take those three well, without right, so Shochu. Wait, wait, wait. Let's try the other one. This tea in it. This yeah. one's All the things Raggy's missing by going to the final okay, so four. This little, this little one right here, 28 calories in this drink. How is that? Is it worth it? No, let you try. Oh, oh boy. Let's back here. Let's see how this works. It's better. This yeah, one's mixed with yeah, tea. Yeah, it's a little. It is a little bit better. It's yeah, it, it's sort of a gentler. It's yeah. a, but yeah. It does come out and bite you in the Look same way. What do you have, Rag, there? <laughs> Look at Raggy. Smart water. Smart water. <laughs> yeah. Smart water. Lonnie, Lonnie, you should buy this by the case. <laughs> oh, that's what we should all be drinking this morning. <laughs> so not fair.